Hi everyone, Christopher here from ThemeCo with another video from the performance series. Today we are going to discuss how to minify and merge your assets of your web page, including the JavaScript files and CSS files. I am going to use a plugin called Auto Optimize uh, in this video, which has a free version that you can download uh, from the uh, wordpress.org uh, official website but uh, it is uh, somehow a subjective issue and you can use many different plugins that are available both in a free and paid versions and uh, you can use whichever plugin that you feel it will do the best uh, for your case scenario but uh, in this video we are gonna use the auto optimize plugin and try to set some options of the plugin to make sure that we can minify and merge our uh, website assets and make it much more faster than the original version so let's get started i have a page on my website with a simple header at the top with the sub menus and menu items and also one of the design cloud content. So it is a simple uh, page that we are going to make sure that the assets of the page are minified and as uh, quick as possible to load. Uh, to make sure that I have all the assets at hand and know what kind of JavaScript and CSS files are loaded in the page, I am going to use the uh, Chrome browser developer toolbar. I will right click on the page and select the inspect option to open up the developer toolbar and then I'm going to go to sources tab. There you can see that we have the address of all the assets that are available on the page and if I go to pro WP content which is the WP content folder of a WordPress installation you can see that there are uh, two folders plugins and the pro theme uh, folder in the plugins I have auto optimize plugin assets that I already installed but I did not set the settings and options of the plugin yet and uh, we have the contact form 7 essential grid and different plugins each plugin has its own scripts or CSS files that are loaded in the page in the previous video I showed you guys how to make sure that you are going to load only the plugins that you will need for the page. But in this video, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to just merge and minify all those files that you see now in the screen. This is important that in the themes folder, uh, when you go to themes pro folder, we have few JavaScript files inside the cornerstone assets dist JS site folder and the name of the JavaScript file is CS dot and then a combination of uh, I, uh, just numbers and uh, characters this is a JS file that is loaded in the page using our uh, theme and also we have a frameworks uh, framework folder with uh, different CSS and JavaScript files available and loaded in the page. Now, why I uh, show you guys uh, the address of these files? Because whenever we uh, enable the settings and make sure that all the files are minified and merged using the auto optimize plugin. There might be cases that the uh, front end of the website 
will stop work. So maybe the menu item does not, uh, the sub menus does not show, or maybe there is a problem, which shows that the JavaScript file is not loaded uh, correctly. Our JavaScript files in the theme are already minified. So uh, it, that is why uh, we do not need to minify it again. If we have double minifying feature, the uh, file will be corrupt. But uh, auto-optimized plugin is clever enough to uh, detect the mini already minified files to avoid the problem, but to make sure that we uh, do the uh, performance uh, and uh, auto-optimized plugin settings correctly. Uh, we're gonna uh, write down the URL address of this file in case that there is a problem. So now let's go to the auto-optimized options. To access the auto-optimized options, you would go to the settings menu and the auto-optimized menu item, or you can click uh, at the top of the uh, admin page to access the auto-optimized settings. Uh, for the first tab, we have the JS, CSS, and HTML, which nearly is the most important tab of the auto-optimized plugin settings. Uh, I simply just enable the Java op, uh, JavaScript code optimization, CSS code optimization, and HTML code optimization. I will not touch anything else because if we want to go deeper and delve into all the details, uh, it will take uh, time and it is kind of a very specific uh, way to go and uh, it is outside the uh, scope of our video here. So let's save the option and empty cache. So the thing that Auto Optimize plugin now does is that it searches for all the JavaScript sources in the page uh, and for the, all the website and make sure that it minifies all the uh, JavaScript CSS files and uh, also merge them to one file. So if I reload the page now and check the sources tab of the Google Chrome developer toolbar here. Now if I go to WP content, you're gonna see that there is no plugin or theme folder anymore. And there is a new uh, folder called cache with the auto optimize subfolder, which includes just two CSS files and a JavaScript file. And that's it. The JavaScript file is minified and all the other JavaScript files of different plugins are merged to one file and loaded them. And that uh, will going to make a huge difference and cause the uh, web page to load very quickly. So uh, that's it. That is how you would just uh, enable the minification and also the merging of the files to make sure that your page uh, is super fast. But uh, and also you should check the front end of the website and uh, I have uh, the page working correctly with no problem, but for any reason that you might see the front end of the uh, website does not work, uh, it might be caused by the uh, merging or minification, and you need to uh, just exclude the uh, files of the theme or whichever plugin that you used and see that the result is not what you want to see. If you want to exclude the files from the uh, just process of the auto-optimize uh, plugin, I just uh, disable the settings to go back and uh, see the original uh, files that uh, were loaded. So I can make sure that I, for example, for our theme, I'm going to just 
use uh, the address of this file, the JS file that the theme loads. Uh, how I should uh, just re retrieve the address is to just select the file and right click on the file and uh, select the copy link address. Okay. And then in the auto optimize options, which I am going to uh, re enable again. We have a section for the JavaScript files that we can exclude the scripts. The way that it works is a comma separated list that you can add whatever uh, JavaScript file that you want to exclude from the uh, optimization. So I just add another comma and paste the uh, URL, the address that I've cop copied. But the uh, address should start from the root of the WordPress installation. For me, the root started from the WP content and the rest is the main uh, domain for my local installation, which I am going to just delete. So we have now WP content, themes, blah, blah, to the end, which is the uh, script that I want to exclude. So let's again save changes and empty cache. And uh, reload the page on the front end of the website. And check the Google Chrome uh, browser developer toolbar to see how excluding our JavaScript file worked. So now if I go to WP content, I'm going to see uh, just two JavaScript files. And uh, beforehand we had just one and this uh, the last one is uh, exactly the JavaScript file that we excluded. That is why it shows separately without the minified version. This is how we exclude the file from the uh, optimization. The last point is that optimizing a page is something that we should do after the development of the website. So make sure that you will do the optimization after you did all the changes that you need uh, because if you optimize the page during the development phase, uh, whatever you change, you each time you should uh, just clear the cache and you should go to optimize menu at the top and uh, click the delete cache and it's very cumbersome work to do. So make sure that you have the websites ready completely and then try to uh, perform this optimization task. So this is how uh, we can minify and merge the assets of our website uh, and make sure that our website is loading as quickly as possible. There are many, many other uh, options and methods uh, that you can uh, just perform and add uh, using different plugins and different methods. So this is uh, something uh, very subjective and uh, this is just for a beginner guide for you guys to make sure that you have uh, just basic minimum performance website at hand. Okay, thank you everyone and talk to you soon.